Hi peeps, how are you all doing? As you've seen from the title, I'm finally doing the Instagram following decides my day, except with the little twist that since we are a humble but very close-knit little Instagram family, I had to do it a little differently with the fact that I couldn't really be spontaneous and post something and wait 15 minutes and have the result. I had to post what I thought my day was going to be like the day before and then do everything according to the results the very next day. So that's what I did with you guys. You picked out the results and this is me from the future obviously, but that's how the day played out and uh, I'm curious to know how you guys thought it worked out or not if you're happy with how I acted upon your decisions by the way if you're new here and you don't know me I know it's a little late for presentations but hi I'm Iku and no I'm not living in a squat as you may think in an empty flat my flat may be empty but that's because I'm on standby for a big move across the world to Japan but it's been postponed and I'm just waiting and waiting standby this is gonna be my new intro like hey I'm not a squatter, I've not been robbed, I'm just waiting because 2020 is just, it's just like that. <laughs> it's been fun. If you want to know more about that, I have a whole video that explains what happened and uh, what's happening now is that I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. But until then, we're doing fun little challenge videos even if they are dead ass trends. So I hope you enjoy them until then. And uh, yeah, by the way, my cat puked on my bed like five minutes before recording this so yeah that really helps with the whole squatter vibe that's been going on anyway enough with the chattering let's start the video and uh, i'll see you at the very end good morning everybody wow it's too early to be talking <laughs> like 5 30 in the morning anyway hi guys um so first poll of the day was choosing between these two types of porridge actually that's not even correct um <laughs> the first poll of the day was choosing between overnight oats or porridge and i had to check that one yesterday obviously before going to bed in case it was overnight oats and you guys chose that i should have some porridge today which is good for my throat <laughs> i'll have a better voice after eating something hot and yummy and the second one like i said was choosing between these two kinds of porridge this one was the banana and uh chocolate <laughs> i just don't have the box anymore and then the goji and chia and even though they're both super yummy the majority chose the chocolate and banana i'm really not surprised um but <laughs> i'm happy either way and these are to uh, vegan and gluten-free oats so it's all good walnuts and then recently I've been loving this kinako powder that I received it's got some amino acids and it's good for protein it's time to work out and the next choice was between <laughs> my workout shorts or my workout leggings and it was pretty close but in the end the shorts 
wanted so that's what i'm gonna wear for my workout i was fine either way the other choice was whether i was going to do a home workout which is low intensity compared to the high intensity workout i do at the gym which was the second option and overwhelmingly you guys voted for me to do a home workout which i was pretty surprised and honestly i was really looking forward to going to the gym today i charged up my ipod i was about to reserve my spot but it is followers choice so let's go to a home workout like i mentioned in one of my vlogs before i don't really film my home workouts anymore because i just feel so awkward with my long limbs and i feel just completely uncoordinated and unbalanced just i don't know like a, a giraffe or like a baby fawn walking for the first time <laughs> Um, but I'll do my best to show some home workout footage, you know, just to prove that I, I did it. <laughs> Thanks for choosing this home workout for me, guys. Well, um, I know I say that the home workout is less intense than at the gym, but at the gym, there's air conditioning, yo. That's why I'm so sweaty and, well, I put water all over myself. While I'm here in my workout gear, the sun is coming out. Right, there we go. The sun is coming out over the, the city buildings. It's gonna be quite nice in a few minutes. That's why I should hurry up so I can make the most of the sun this morning. But while I'm here in my workout gear, I'm gonna do my uh, monthly Patreon shout out for the month of August, where I shout out my patrons' name with a challenge that they pick out through a poll. And this time they chose for me to do an ab to touch, which is great because that was not in the exercises that I've done this morning yet. So yeah a little bit extra so let me grab my list and let's do some patreon challenge shout out which you can join too really easily on patreon.com slash egotree for just one dollar and honestly every little bit helps out and counts and i'm grateful for all of it so let's go if you don't know what app to touch is it's really simple you lie down let me see if i'm actually in frame here you lie down and put your feet flat and then you try and touch your toes the only thing is that i have to read my list so i'm not sure oh this this may work this may work <laughs> okay so a great big thank you to deepak yadav shatana hola mary lou kenji swift richard fujinami j karen arshi patricio <laughs> double con oh no Echo Walter and Nanu. I think I got all of them. Hang on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I think I got all of you guys. Thank you so much for your support in this month of August. Don't forget you can still join the Patreon shout out for my Instagram stories for the end of the month. Like I said, starting at just one dollar yeah time for a shower <sighs> The next poll was about what I was going to wear today. It's going to be an extra hot day, so I prepared in advance um, that I'm either going to wear my normal little black shorts with a crop top or this transparent dress, but probably with a pair of shorts underneath. Well, probably, definitely with a pair of shorts underneath. Pachi is helping me choose. I don't know which one he's pointing to. Is he pointing to the dress with his tail or to the other outfit with his paws or the direction of his body? I don't know. It wasn't a massive split, but the majority chose the short and tank top. I think it was 60-40, so that's what I'm gonna go for. Thanks for picking out my clothes. I know I don't have the biggest and fanciest selection to choose from, but in the end, it does the job, right? So I'm gonna put on my face and do my hair now. I did do a poll about hair and then makeup 
in that order but I think I'm gonna start with my face while my hair dries a little bit because um, if you didn't know I got these bangs which look ridiculous right now but I got them uh, two days ago so I'm still learning how to style them I haven't had bangs in so many years I don't even remember when it was <laughs> still learning to style them right now they're a little wet but I don't want to like flip them up while I do my makeup otherwise they're just gonna dry like that and uh, as you may already know my straight hair straighteners are dead they gave up on life so I am stuck having to try and style them myself which um, I'm obviously not doing a great job of but right now I need my face to be ready it's already super hot so the options that i gave for hair it was either hair up or hair down thank goodness you guys were merciful and allowed me to leave my hair up so i will be doing that afterwards and for makeup oh my god is that a wasp oh my god why <laughs> What was I saying? Makeup. The options that I gave was either like very light makeup, only brows and concealer, or just do my normal full face of makeup, which isn't that heavy. I don't really wear any foundation. I don't like it. I don't like too much, but I do uh, do heavier on the eyes usually. And I do have a powder um, foundation, if you will. Um, and same as with the hair, you guys, I think he took into account that it was going to be really, really hot. I don't know. Let me see how many degrees they expect today. It's going to go up to 34 degrees, 37 this weekend, but it's already really humid right now. So maybe you took that into account when you chose the light uh, option for me today, honestly. Um, I do feel a, bit, a little bit bare when I don't have my winged eyeliner but I think that I'll be happy uh, when it'll be around lunchtime and really hot that my face isn't melting off. Is that another friggin wasp? It is. Is that the same? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna sit here. Here and do hair. <laughs> so I have my, my mirror right there. But you guys wait for hair up really grateful for that uh, I just finished my makeup and honestly it's not too bad I thought I was gonna miss my uh, my little winged eyes but with this lighting in front of the windows I, I feel okay just my hair with these I don't know what I'm gonna do with these but let's start with putting my hair up I'm just gonna do a ponytail nothing extra I'm not that good at braiding hair to be honest so ponytail is fine for me where's my where's my bangs get out get out of there let's see it's all here i think it's all there okay um i'm just gonna try and get them to lay down um i don't want to clip them back right away i know i'll be very hot today so I might end up clipping them back, but I need to try and get used to these, so um, this is ridiculous, but I'm ready to start the day, and my battery is dead, and my second battery is still charging, so let's see what we can do. Yeah. So the next thing to choose from was whether I should have a protein shake or a smoothie after my workout. What did you guys choose? You went for the smoothie. I would have been fine either way, but since I did have a pretty good workout, I'm gonna make it a protein smoothie. get some studying in. You guys chose for me to study with my material, with my flashcards, instead of studying through YouTube. So sorry, Misa Sensei. This is what I'm going for today. I'm gonna study some vocab. 
I'm gonna study some grammar flashcards and I'm gonna study some kanji Usually what I'll do is go on the balcony and study in the sun But today it's already way too hot this morning and I will just melt and not be able to focus So I'm just gonna sit where I can get a little bit of sun but also stay cool <laughs> It's time to start thinking about lunch. The options were, since we're a little bit limited, either making something from scratch with whatever I can find in the house. I think it's going to be a fun little mission if that's the one. And the other option was just go to the supermarket and grab something really easy like a salad or something. I don't remember the exact number. Oh, it's uh, overwhelmingly make it from scratch with 74%. So lunch, what I'm gonna start off with is carrot and hummus, as in a little aperitif. Nothing fancy, but it does the trick. I think that's my catchphrase for this video, actually. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but it does the trick. Let's go see what's in the fridge. So in my fridge, I have miso, the hummus, I have some mushu, which yeah, I think I'm just about to go off, so I'm definitely having some of that. Actually, I'm gonna cook everything and I can nibble on that throughout the day. It's really useful. I have overripe bananas, I have some cherry tomatoes, I have some carrots that are about to go off, and some cabbage. That's pretty much our options. So what I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing brown rice, and then I can add in some miso while it's cooking, I can add in some cabbage, I can add some tomatoes. The only issue is I don't I don't really have any sauce. I have some ghee. I think that will be okay. And then I'll just have to work with spices and the only issue now is protein, but I'm going to have to work with what I have, which are these yeast flakes. from the vinegar is really good with the tomatoes the brown rice is very wholesome there's a bit of crunchiness from the cabbage um, you get a bit of the miso mixed in with the uh, yeast flakes all in all it's pretty good right i'm stuffed so it's time to go for a walk because it's lovely weather i want to go to a park and chill there for a little bit well it's just just like that outside. I have two parks in mind which are my current favorites here in Brussels. One is a shorter walk away and the second one was a longer walk away and you guys, like 79% of you, chose the longer walk which I'm fine with because I prefer that park at the moment but it's a rather a long way away we're talking about 45 to an hour away on foot so yeah i'm preparing for that walk it'll be good good for my legs uh, but i'll probably sweat my ass off i'm also feeling a little self-conscious about walking around with a crop top and some shorts it's a lot of skin showing but hopefully i'll be fine so i'm packing my bag i'm taking a towel so that i can sit on the grass somewhere i'm of course taking my bottle of water i am 
I'm taking a fan because I'm a little bit extra. No, just kidding, but I'm not very good with heat, especially with humidity. So this will come in very handy, I think, over there. I'm taking some sunnies. I hate wearing these. They just slide down my nose. I just really don't have a face for sunglasses. But when I'll be lying in the sun, I'll be very glad to have these. Some sunscreen. I'm going to smother myself with this in a minute. It smells so good. I'm going to be all slippery, which is why I'm afraid of using this and having to do the next that you guys trust me for when I'll be at the park my two options were uh, to either sunbathe or to draw from just what I see and overwhelmingly it was draw what I see so we'll see if sunblock, sweat and um, <laughs> drawing uh, work together I think that's the only option that I'm a little wary of I don't want to uh, ruin <laughs> my sketchbook but I'll definitely try I'll give it a good old try so those are things that I'm taking with me just a simple pencil and a eraser I'm not gonna take a thousand supplies and also I asked you guys to choose a mask for me because like I said you gotta wear a mask everywhere you go down the street even if it is 34 to 37 degrees at the moment and you guys chose this one I think this one was the most uh, voted for even by far so here we go I hope you like your choice man it's gonna be hot in here Sweat pouring down my face. <laughs> it's too hot. There are less people here, so I'm taking off the mask for a little bit because I'm dying. Completely dying. I think I'm about halfway there. So, with music and sunshine, it's really cool. Shade. here this is the park and it goes on and on and there are a lot of different paths and places you can go to this is where I just came from and I'm gonna show you my favorite spot are these little nooks here in between the bushes so you need to find the right one I think this one will be good this one in the middle yeah I'm gonna pick this one and settle down here uh, is that dog poop no okay I think we're good to go time to set up our little corner oh hey no I'm not naked <laughs> yes I still have my top but I have tan lines already and might as well try and get rid of them while I'm here. Totally these sunglasses make me look like crap. They don't suit my face and I'm sweaty. But here I am. This is my little spot. There's actually no one here. Now I have to find something I want to draw and I thought there'd be more people I could like kind of sneak on to draw but there's honestly no one really around. So either I try and sneak on people. I saw someone on a bench way over there or I just draw nature, or my feet, or I don't really know yet, but that's what you want me to do. There's a guy sitting way over there. I'll try and draw him discreetly. <laughs> uh, I think it's a bit of a fail for the uh, draw what I see portion. <laughs> Guys, it's way too hot. I am drenched with sweat. All I can do is just lie still and use my fan to try and cool off. <laughs> there's not a single cloud in sight, which was one of the things I was hoping to draw, but there's not a single one. 
so I drew the guy over there, kind of, he kept moving, and then I drew the silhouette of a tree, this tree to be precise. I was gonna put in more detail and then I realized that I really like the silhouette of it, so that's where I stopped. So you might have to count this as a fail, I don't know, but it's too hot. Yeah, I'm gonna head home soon enough. I won't stay here until I'm completely cooked. <laughs> Gotta preserve though, this aging skin. Uh, but the next poll was whether you guys would let me have some juice on the way back and most of you said yes So thank you for that. I still have a bit of water left But a juice would really hit the spot right about now and the second thing is that since it's Friday in the evenings I usually allow myself a little treat So I asked you if it should be a sweet treat or a savory treat and it kind of was almost in the middle but a little more towards savory which i'm actually really happy with i'm usually more of a sweet tooth but for some reason i am craving savory Home sweet home, look at the state of me guys, oh my goodness. I am tired and happy and how many steps did I make today? 9,717, so I'm so close to the 10,000 uh, step goal that Fitbit has. So I'm gonna walk around the house and try and get that goal. So I got my juice. I'm happy. Usually they run out of this one and it's actually the one I prefer at the moment. Why are you sniffing my feet? Because your nose is cold. Because I've been outside. I almost fulfilled all the polls. I got my juice, I got my savory treats, which I got at the same time at the supermarket, which are this spinach and cheese veggie burger made from tofu. Let me see what they have. They have rice. Yeah, they have milk. But they, they might actually not. It doesn't have gluten. It's made in a factory that also uses gluten, but otherwise it's rice and soy, like tofu. I mean, it's not the healthiest thing, and obviously it has cheese in there, but it's a treat and I'm gonna enjoy these and maybe you guys were imagining something a little more like decadent, naughty or even luxurious but for me this is luxurious and this is comfort food and this is a treat I usually love having this inside like a burger bun or some pita bread but I thought that this was already going outside of my little new regime diet night kind of thing so i might have it in some lettuce to be good and the last poll i just checked it out was whether this later this evening i get to watch either a movie or some k drama and it was around 60 to 40 for a movie now i don't have a movie in mind i wish i could have a spontaneous poll to ask you guys for some recommendations but they wouldn't come in in time unfortunately so i'll have to find something that seems cool last movie i saw was midsummer which I'm not gonna say anything about. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. If you have seen it, you'll understand my reaction. I will let you know what I end up watching. But right now, all I wanna do is sit in a cold bath, rinse myself off, and put on some dry clothes. everybody for watching this video it was so fun to make it was fun to jump on a 
dead old trend but a trend nonetheless even if our instagram family squad is still at a small stage it was very fun doing this with you guys and seeing you guys vote I love this kind of interactivity. I hope to make more videos like this where I can ask you things and you can ask me things and we can kind of collaborate. I did actually start making a video uh, in that style a while back then I got sick and now it's on hold and I need to find the motivation to get back into that again. But this one was really chill and cool to make and uh, I hope it was fun to watch also. So thanks for staying with me and uh, discovering other things that I can do. other aspects of myself and of my life even though if right now it's not really demonstrative of what my life actually is um, but I mean we're all in the same boat like I said so I hope this keeps you entertained and I'll see you in the next one Thanks for being with me, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check the links in the description box below for all kind of different links to my stores and various social media. And follow me on Instagram if you wish to stay updated. I keep my stories running all the time with news and art and all types of things. And every now and then there might be collaboration opportunities like this one. So, hope you're well, keep well, chin up. We're doing great, we're doing our best. See you very soon guys, I L word you all. Bye!